Hello and welcome to another Kit Basher tutorial. My name is Nomate and I'm going to be going through with you today how we can use the Kit Layout system to really make our kits come to life and reflect our movement throughout the leads and, and uh, our successes that come with moving up and being good at Football Manager, or maybe not being so good at Football Manager. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the Kit Layout system. And if we go open up our kit basher, we're back again with our Premier League list. Um, and here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, manage kit layouts. And here we're going to get a little preview of what our kits could be generated as with a little default setting uh, set of colors. Now, what you can see here is you can see a list, uh, a set of placements as our boxes. And what that lets us do is to change what happens in those positions when we're generating our kits. For example, we could, uh, by default, and this is the default layout you'll get when you first um, create a layout, is you'll get um, a badge in the top uh, right pocket, a main sponsor on the, um, the forefront, and a sponsor on the sleeve. But what do we want to do with kit layouts? Well, we can add our patches that come with the leagues that show what league you're in and generally changes the layout based on where we are. So for example, what we might want to do is create a Premier League layout, which will have a Premier League badge on the side. Um, and this can be used as a patch and you can create one for Premier League, but we might want to create one, for example, that it has a golden lion ready for when you win the Premier League and you want to really show that off to your friends and show uh, your kits really evolving as you play through the game. Uh, we might want to do a kind of championship style um, kit layout, which can uh, include the, the Skybet Championship batch, but also um, these patches that are generally on all of the teams that include a um, kind of this uh, anti-gambling or the gambling responsibly patch that is on all the kits at the moment. So you can uh, mix and match what kinds of kit, uh, uh, what kinds of layouts you can use. You've got the option of a sponsor, a badge, a text patch so that you can put in the team name. So um, you could choose one of these to have the team name or the, or the short name like City instead of Manchester City or the uh, team initials, so MC, uh, FC, for example, or there is the patch. So that's the options you can have within the kit layouts. And you can use the create new and the copy functionality to, um, uh, to kind of manipulate and, and create your own layouts for yourself. Now, how does that kind of work in practice? What do you want to do with them? Well, if we go back to our team list, we can select the bottom three teams um, in order to generate kits for them. But first we want to change their kit layout. Now you can do that individually by selecting kit layout and selecting championship. Please don't come at me, Watford, West Ham and Wolves fans. This is just in our fantasy league and fantasy teams. So it is now set to the championships. Or if you want to bulk edit, you can just go to edit teams bulk edit teams and then all ignore these first two and just select kit layout and we can go back to the championship with these. So if our uh, alphabetically relegated teams are all um, selected, we can then click generate and um, we can get the kits up. And if I just do one, here's one I made earlier, Blue Peter Star. You can see um, as we've generated them, they have these patches on the side uh, for the leagues um, and the sponsors with the, the blackout uh, silhouetted, sorry. Um, and you can see that they are applied to these teams. So um, that's what you can do with kit layouts. And that's really powerful if you just want to add patches and um, sponsors in particular locations. Um, and that's what we'll do today. But what we can do is even further customization by you might not want to use these uh, four layout areas that we have already. You want to add your own. For example, we might want to add a uh, uh, the part of the um, 
the backs of the kits, a bit like um, Bayern Munich in Germany has FC Bayern, Mun uh, Bayern Munich uh, written across the back there. We're going to replicate that with a little bit along the bottom. So we can do that by editing placements. And this edits this list of boxes here. And we get up a new screen. And this one is a, a 3D preview of um, what will be generated if we kind of have the default colors of the skins. And what we can do is we can just create a new placement. That will create a new area so that we could select whether or not it's a patch or a badge or a um, piece of text. The first thing we need to do is create a new position. Um, so we're going to just put it on the bottom of the, the stomach. So they're going to just have their name written at the bottom of their kits, kind of like your mum puts them in your gym shorts um, when you've been sent off to do PE. And we're going to do the same here on the front of the first one. You don't have to create a 2D kit, uh, position uh, for a, a th uh, t uh, every 3D placement uh, and vice versa. So I could have just, um, I can just delete this one as well. And I could only make a 3D position because we actually want it on the back, which wouldn't be displayed on the front of here. So I can just use the, the drag and drop tools or I can edit the positions manually here. I can use this to create a, a um, position that we can then use for later to put in text. And again, I can just use the whole screen in order to place them here. And if I wanted it in another location that is linked to the same thing, um, I can just create a new 3D position, uh, pick it up and scroll it. So say we want to put it on the shorts as well uh, here then we could put it here as well. But we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to do that uh, one single position only on the 3D kits. Now, so once we're done, we can just do save changes to all. And that will change uh, the, um, it, that will add to every single kit, this kind of new position on the kit on that 3D screen. Now, there is one problem though. On some kits, um, um, Nike has definitely has some of these kits. So you can just scroll through these kits. Ah, here we go. This is the perfect example. What we don't want here is this is overlapping some of the kit um, kind of dis uh, design. And we don't want that for this particular kit. So what we can do is if we move this here to somewhere that's more useful, say here, and then we can just do save as adjustment. And what that'll do is that'll change only for this kit, the placement that we just uh, created. And if we go to the next one, so down here, you can see that it snaps back to where it was previously. So we can go through the kits and oh, this one again has those kind of lines on the back. So we're going to move it up here and save as adjustments. So if you're adding this to yourself, if it's in a place that can be uh, Un, um, can be covered by design uh, on the kit that you don't want it to be so that it, it kind of uniformly displays or you just don't want to avoid say a logo or something along those lines you can just use these adjustments um, same for all the existing ones if you just want to make them appear slightly nicer but if we now close this we can see that we've got an, a nice block here a nice placement that we can put in whatever we want so we could if we were doing the French system, put in a new sponsor, um, and usually they're displayed as silhouette. But if we want, um, and we could do that, so if we um, create a copy of this one, and we're going to do French um, sponsor. We can create that here, and we've got a sponsor. Um, but if we want to now make another copy and we want to do the Bundesliga, apologies if I mispronounced or misspelt, um, we can keep that here and we're going to change this one to be a bit of text and we're going to put the full team name. But you could put in the short name, uh, so Bayern instead of Bayern Munich FC, um, or the team initials. Uh, so if you want to set up the socks, so that they have the team initials on, you can go ahead and do that. And that's 
uh, really up to you. So we're going to uh, close that. And what we're going to do, we're just going to chain, uh, change our system and put um, Wolves in the French League R. Uh, and we're going to put West Ham United in the Bundesliga for the kit layout purposes only. And if we now generate these kits, and I'll do another time skip just to uh, speed things through, we're going to just generate these three different kits and I'll show you where that turns up. So I'll see you in a second and we'll see what how these kits are generated. And we're back and what we can see here if we open up the generated 3D kits, you can see that the Watford kit that was generated, which I'll just show you here in uh, 2D, and you can see matches with 3D kits. Um, and you can see the patches on the sleeves that match the 3D kits. So we go into the, what, uh, the West Ham United kit. Um, you can see here that the, the West Ham United has been attached to the uh, the bottom half of the pick, uh, of the, the kit on the back side. And uh, just like the um, Bundesliga setup we had. And what we can do is we can, there's a, a, a tool online for viewing your 3D kits, but it, this would happen in game as well. So if we open up that, you can see here that the, uh, the kit has everything we have on it. You can see the sleeve sponsor and you can see West Ham United FC written on the back. So you can kind of see what you can do with it. So that's what you can do with the extra placements and how we can, what we can do is we can just see how it kind of gets used on different kits. And you can see here on the Wolves kit, you can see the sponsor at the bottom half of the back as well. So that's how you can use the kit layouts to make very different kits per league so that you can reflect your journey through them as either a journeyman or if you're rising from the depths of uh, obscurity uh, all the way through to championship and Premier League victory, you can really reflect them as you move around the leagues and uh, other and show off just how much your world is interacting. That's all we're going to show today. If you've got any comments, questions or queries on how to use the kit layouts or uh, managing the kit placements, do please ask in the Discord. I can uh, talk to you there or leave a like and uh, comment in this video. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to get hold of Kit Basher, there is a link to the Discord below um, where you can download the latest version and the latest set of kits. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.